my name is Nandini Pandey, and I'm an associate professor of classics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm delighted to be here at the American Academy this semester working on a new book on Roman diversity, where I retell the history of Imperial Rome as a story of diversity and pluralism with an eye toward informing modern practices. I don't want to downplay the violence and the slavery and the subjugation that resulted in Rome's empire, uh, but on the other hand, they actually give us examples of really colorblind and inclusive mechanisms for getting buy-in and building people into the state. So the Romans got a lot really right when it came to inclusion, but they also got a lot terribly wrong, and that's a really interesting part of the story too. Um, the Romans in their analog world before modern travel and technology transfer really knew the outside world largely through tokens of faraway places, things like people as well as things and trade goods and minerals and animals that were imported from the outside world. And so it was through this really exploitative imperialistic method that the Romans actually handled and learned to love and admire diversity in practice. I think the modern world has something to learn from Rome's practice of diversity. If we look at it, we see that Roman elites really enjoyed their empire's ethnic variety, but insofar as they could tokenize and collect and use it for their own pleasure and profit. I wonder if we today might rethink our own diversity measures, rethink why and how we collect people from different parts of the world, and also for whose benefit um, in making a better and more inclusive society.